Gunsmoke. Brought to you by L and M Filters. This is it. L and M is best. Stands out from all the rest. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad, a transcribed story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> Is that stage supposed to be here, Chester? Oh, sometimes this afternoon, Doc. They ain't quite sure. You mean they're not sure it'll come at all? Now, that ain't what I said. I said they ain't sure when. Oh. Well, I've heard of stages that don't come at all. Gracious, you ain't very cheery today, Doc. What's the matter, lose a couple of cash patients last night? No, I didn't lose any patients last night. I lost $50 at Faro. Ah, well. What's fifty dollars to a rich man like you? Oh yes, which if you and everybody else paid your bills once in a while, I'd be a rich man. Hey, there she comes, Doc. Oh, golly, I hope Mister Dillon's on it. Uh, you mean you're waiting here and you don't even know he's coming? Uh, he'll be there, and with Big Jim Kelly too. Kelly, who's that? Sake, you sure are ignorant, Doc. Ignorant of what? Thieves and murderers and scallywags? Big and... Jim Kelly is wanted for burning down a hotel in Wichita. Yeah, arson. Arson? No, Doc. I said he's wanted for burning down never a mind, hotel. Never mind, never mind. Oh, but there he is. There he is. He's coming. He's coming. <laughs> uh, uh, hello, Matt. <laughs> He's all alone. Uh, maybe he shot him to save the price of the stage fare, Chester. Oh, Doc, <laughs> Mr. Dillon wouldn't do that. Oh, Doc. Uh, Chester. How are you, Matt? Hey, where's Big Jim Kelly, Mr. Dillon? I don't know, Chester. You didn't catch him? Well, I got close enough to put salt on his tail, but he got away. Well, how in the world did that happen? Well, he, uh, outsmarted me, Chester. Mm. <laughs> well, what's new in Dodge, anyway? <laughs> well... Doc lost $50 at Faro last night. Oh, that's not new, Chester. Besides, it's perfectly legal. Oh, uh, you mean has there been any trouble, huh? Uh, no, sir. It's been real quiet, Mr. Dillon. Except last night when Cassidy got beat up. Cassidy? Uh, who would beat him up? I hadn't heard of that, Chester. Boy, Cassidy is the mildest mannered man I ever saw. Even in his cups. And he's been in his cups for ten solid years now I, I, that I know of. What happened, Chester? Oh, that gambler, Bill Clell. Oh, he come here since you left, Mr. Dillon. He, he brought a girl with him named Flora. What about Clell and Cassidy? Well, nobody's seen it, but Clell admits beating him up. Well, why? Says Cassidy walked up to him, tried to club him with a bottle. Oh, I don't believe that. Cassidy wouldn't attack a wood fence. Is he hurt much, Chester? He don't look very good, but he'll be all right, Mr. Dillon. Say, man, I don't believe this Clell. There's something wrong with his story. Well, I'll go by there tonight and have a talk with him, Doc. But right now, let's go get something to eat, huh? Do you see Clell anywhere, Chester? No, sir, I don't. I guess he ain't come in yet tonight, Mr. Dillon. Yeah. Look, uh, you go get your beer. I'm going to go over and say hello to Kitty over there. Okay, sir. But you come tell me when he does come in, huh? Yes, sir, I will. Okay. Well, 
Well, evening, Kitty. Hello, Matt. I hear you came back empty-handed. Oh? How did you know that? Everybody knows it. You know, and all the time I was thinking that nobody even knew I'd gone after a man. It's hard to keep secrets in Dodge, Matt. I've tried it myself. Yeah. Well, there's one I'd like to uncover, Kitty. What was this man Clell doing beating up Cassidy last night? Well, I heard it was Cassidy went after him. Oh? Took a bottle to him, they say. Who says? You're right. Nobody saw it. But the way Clell told it, he was just as surprised as anybody. I have to admit, I kind of believe him, Matt. Oh, now, Kitty, you know Cassidy wouldn't attack anybody. Well, don't get me wrong. I'm not standing up for Clell. In fact, I don't even like him. Oh, what's wrong with him? Well, he's no good. I can tell by the way he treats Flora. She's a real unhappy girl, Matt. Well, that's no business of mine. But I don't like the idea of a poor, harmless drunk like Cassidy taking it from him. Hey, there's Flora now. You want to meet her? Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Flora! Flora! Pretty little thing, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Hello, Kitty. Did you want me? You got a minute, honey? I want you to meet Marshal Dillon. Oh. Are you the Marshal? I'm pleased to know you, Flora. Uh, want you to sit down? Thanks. But I can't stay long. Mr. Clell will be in directly. Huh? You, uh, work for Clell, Flora? My job's to steer people over to his faro table and then try to keep them there. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how long have you known Clell? All my life, I guess. What? Oh, he sort of adopted me when I was five. When my mother died. I'm only 18 now, Marshal. Well, that's mighty young. You uh, look a little older than that. I wish I was ten years older. Oh, why? Then maybe I could get away from him somehow. Oh, please, d don't tell him that. No, no, no. Of course, of course I won't. He married me last year. Oh? Oh, there he is now. He just came in. I I I'd better go. The tall man, Matt. The black derby. Yeah, I see him. <laughs> I thought he'd be older. He only looks about 35. I'll be done. There's Cassidy, too. Looks like he's following him. Yeah, he is. And he's got a gun in his hand. Cassidy's going to shoot him, Matt. Can't even hold that gun steady with both hands, Cassidy. I'm going to kill you, Clell. Put that gun away, Cassidy. I'll handle him. <coughs> That's just about enough for you, Cassidy. Going to break every bone in your body. All right, hold it, Clell. Stop kicking him. Mister, stay out of this. You kick him once more and you'll wake up in jail. Jail? Why, who are you? I'm the marshal here. Well, then why don't you arrest Cassidy? Didn't you see him try to shoot me? I saw him. Now, what's the trouble between you two? Look, Marshal, I give you my word, I never saw this drunken bum before in my life. Took a bottle to me last night. This time he's got a gun. There must be something behind this, Clell. Cassidy's one of the most peaceful men in Dodge. Well, I swear it, I never saw him before. I'll tell you one thing, Marshal. Next time I see him, I'm going to kill him. Chester. Yes, sir. Cassidy's still out. Get him over to Doc's, will you? I'll come by there later. Yes, sir, I'll do it, Mr. Clo, if Cassidy tries to kill you, it's your right to protect yourself. But don't do it with your feet. Cassidy's friends might not like it. And I'm one of them. <laughs> King size or regular, L&M is best. Stands out from all the rest. This is it, L&M filters. It stands out from all the rest. Miracle tip, much more flavor. L&M's got everything. It's the best. Yes, L&M is best. Stands out from all the rest. L&M stands out for flavor. 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 The miracle tip draws easy. You enjoy all the taste. L&M stands out for effective filtration. 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 No filter compares with L&M's pure white miracle tip. 
L&M's got everything. It's America's best filter cigarette. feeling, Cassidy? I'm okay, Marshal. Oh, you're so full of booze, you don't know how you feel, Cassidy. I told you, you've got two broken ribs. It don't matter. I've had worse. Cassidy, what are you after Clow for? Why did you try to shoot him tonight? Thirteen years of hard drinking is lovely to think about. It's bad on the aim, Marshal. I had to hold that gun in both hands. He hit me before I get it off. Why were you trying to shoot him? I don't like his face. Doc, will you do something for me? Sure, sure, yes, Cassidy. What is it? Make me sober. <clears throat> what? I, I mean real sober. Oh, I ain't going to quit forever, but I want to get sober for a spell. Well, I'm sorry, Cassidy. Medicine has no idea how to treat a man who drinks like you. No idea at all. There's nothing you can do? Nothing. If you want to get sober, you'll have to do it yourself. How? Stop drinking. Okay. I'll do it. If Marshal will help me. Me help you? Lock me up in jail, Marshal, and don't let me out for, for about a week. I, I can't drink that way. You'll do it, won't you? Well, ordinarily, I'd do anything I could to help you, Cassidy, but uh, no, not this time. Why not? Because you want to get sober so you can kill a man. Then I'll do it without your help. Oh, don't worry, Matt. He'll never stay sober long enough to do any harm. I never saw a man like him stop drinking yet. You never saw a man had a reason like I have, Doc. What is your reason, Cassidy? I'll tell you later, Marshal. When you come to hang me... Morning, Chester. Ah, oh, where's the mail? Well, it's in, but they ain't got it sorted out yet. I'll go back and get it later. Okay. You expecting something important? No, nothing special, Chester, but uh, you never know. My. Sometimes I think we'd be better off if there wasn't no mail, no telegraphs, no trains, no stages, no nothing like that. Well, I wish we had more. And maybe we could find out what happened to Cassidy. He's been missing a whole week now. Oh, for heaven's sake, Mr. Dillon, I plum forgot. That's the first thing I meant to tell you. Well, how, how could I forget that? I swear I must be getting what old. It seems you... like every time I start... Chester, to... what, what did you forget? I, I, about Cassidy. I seen him in the street just now. You did? Well, where is he? I want to talk to him. He was leaning on that building right next door. Drunk? No, sir, he didn't look it. He looked plum sober. I'll go see if he's still there, will you? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. There he is. Cassidy! Hey, Cassidy! Come here a minute. He's coming, Mr. Dillon. Uh, come on in, Cassidy. Marshal wants to say hello. I ain't got much time, Chester. Well, you got a minute, ain't you? Close the door, Chester. What do you want, Marshal? Ah, you had everybody worried, Cassidy. Where, uh... Where you been the past week, huh? I've been out on the prairie, Marshal. There ain't no whiskey out there. Oh, I see. Well, you look fine. I ain't had a drop since I left Doc that night. How are your ribs? Oh, I breathe hard, but that don't bother me. Mm-hmm. I, uh, see that you got a gun in your belt. I have. I can shoot it with one hand now. Still after Clell, huh? You can hang me later, Marshal. It don't matter. But right now, you can't do nothing but talk. Why don't you tell me what this is all about, Cassidy? We're friends, aren't we? 
You was always a friend to me, Marshal. And I don't like to cause you no trouble, but I can't help it this time. It's just gotta be. Well, okay, Cassidy. You don't want me to help you, but uh, I'm gonna do it anyway. You can't help me. Yes, I can. Now, give me your gun. No, no, Marshal. No, no, you got no right. Now, give don't. Give me the gun. Mm-hmm. There. Don't buy me another one. Chester. Yes, sir. Lock him up. Lock me up? No, you can't do that. It ain't legal. I ain't done nothing. To stop you from killing a man's plenty legal the way I look at it, Cassidy. All right, put him in his cage, Chester. Come on, Cassidy, and don't you try nothing. No, wait, no, you can't lock me up. Clever might get away. You want me to carry you? Uh, all right. Fine, I'll tell you, Marshal. I'll tell you. Leave him be, Chester. Well, go ahead, Cassidy. Tell me. Who is Clo? Thirteen years ago, Marshal, down in New Orleans, Clo ran off with my wife. He did. And then how come he claims that he doesn't know you? He don't know me. I changed my name, and I only seen him once before. My wife told me she was leaving, and I watched him get on the riverboat. Clow, my wife, my little girl. Your little girl? Flora was only five then. Flora? You mean Flora's your daughter? She don't remember me. I don't want her ever to know that, uh, now the way I am. Promise you won't tell her? No, no, of course I won't. But Clow's married to Flora now. Uh, what happened to your wife? Yeah, they got married, but later I heard she ran off. She had to get away from him. I think she's dead, Marshal. I think she killed herself. Look, Cassidy, shooting Clow isn't going to help anything now. I ain't going to kill him because of me, Marshal. I'm doing it for Flora. Yeah, I can tell. She wants to get away from him, too. Yeah, I know she does. I'm going to do it, Marshal. I don't mind hanging. I'm going to help Flora. Clow's done a lot to you, Cassidy, but there's nothing in the world I know of that justifies murder. I don't hold with killing people either, Marshal, but I'm going to do it. Cassidy, listen to me. If I get Flora away from Clow, would you be satisfied? How are you going to do that? Will you leave him alone if I do? I told you it's for Flora I'm thinking about. The other thing, oh, that's, that's too long past. I buried that in a thousand whiskey bottles, Marshal. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Uh, do you have any money, Cassidy? If I didn't work down then, I couldn't drink. How much have you got? No, about $50. All right, give it to me. What? I said give it to me. Oh. Well, here it is, Marshal. That's all I got. It's enough. Now, look, I want you to lay low, Cassidy. Stay out of sight for a while. Will you do that? I'll do it. But I'll be watching. This better not take too long, Marshal. Chester. Yes, sir. Go find Kitty, will you? Tell her to get Flora over to her room and be sure that Clow doesn't know where she is. Okay, Mr. Dillon. Tell Kitty I'll meet him there in about an hour. Oh, and you better hang around outside somewhere, huh? In case Clow gets interested and shows up. L&M is best, stands out from all the rest. L&M's got everything. Everything? Yes, everything. L&M stands out for flavor. The miracle tip draws easy, lets you enjoy all the taste. And L&M stands out for effective filtration. No filter compares with L&M's pure white miracle tip for quality or effectiveness. L&M stands out for highest quality tobaccos. Low nicotine tobaccos, L and M tobaccos, light and mild. L and M's got everything. Everything? Yes, everything. King size or regular, it's America's best filter tip cigarette.
She's here, Matt. Come on in. Oh, thanks, Kitty. Ah, hello, Flora. Is there something wrong, Marshal? Uh, yes, I think so. I told you, Kitty. I knew there was. Now, Flora, don't get upset. Whatever it is, I'm sure the Marshal isn't after you. Give him a chance to explain. Is it about Mr. Clell, Marshal? It's about you, Flora. But I haven't done anything. No, you haven't done anything, Flora, but I'm going to help you do something. I don't understand. Tell me, if you were alone, free from Clell, where would you go? Oh, I tried to run away before, but he caught me. He beat me something terrible. Well, he won't catch you this time, Flora. Now, where do you want to go? Can you find a job in St. Louis? I'd like to go to New Orleans. Mr. Clell says I was born there. I'm sure I could find something to do there. I always wanted to go. Okay, here's a hundred dollars, Flora. Now that'll get you to New Orleans and keep you till you find work. A hundred dollars? Oh, Marshal, I can't take that. Yes, you can. Now go on, take it. Why are you giving it to me? Well, you're young. You still got a life ahead of you. That's reason enough. It's no use, Marshal. Mr. Clell had never let me go. Where is Clell now? At the Long Branch Gambling. He'll be expecting me there soon. All right, then you'll have to hurry. There's a train out at 1 o'clock. That'll only give you about a half hour. But I can't go like this. What about my things? Go get what you need. Kitty will help you. Sure, I will. Come on, Flora. But if Mr. Clell finds I'll me... I'll be at the depot. If Clell does find you, it won't do him any good. I'll see that you get on that train alone, Flora. <laughs> She better hurry, Mr. Dillon. Stand a piece about to leave. Kitty will see that she gets here, Chester. Don't worry. Yes, sir. Hey, I thought you told Cassidy to lay low. I did. What? And now what's he up to? I guess he wants to talk to you. What are you doing here, Cassidy? I know what you're doing, Marshal. I figured it all out. Especially when I seen Flora and Kitty going back to her room. They're on the way down here now. I thought you didn't want Flora to know about you. I don't, Marshal. I'm going to stand over there by the building. I only want to see her leave. It'll be the last time. There they come. You better get going. I'm going. Oh, that poor fellow. Come on, Marshal. Take Flora's bag, will you, Chester, and throw it on the train for her? Sure. Here, give me your bag, Flora. I'll take care of it for you. Thanks, Chester. I'll go find your seat. Well, that would never make it, Matt. Oh, you barely did. Now, well, Flora, we'll uh, say goodbye here. You better follow Chester. Goodbye, Marshal. I don't know why you're doing this, but... Well... <laughs> I just can't seem to say anything. You don't have to. Good luck. Goodbye, honey. I'm awful happy for you. You'll make out fine. I know you will. I kind of hate to leave you, Kitty. You get going. Train's about to leave. Go on now. <sighs> All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. You're a good girl, Matt. Yeah, she is. And I'm kind of wondering myself why you're doing this. Well, I'll tell you, Kitty. Later on. Oh, you're about to leave. Now she'll make it. What about Chester? He's still in the car there. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. He's always wanted to go to St. Louis. And he... Matt, look. What? It's Clell. He's after her. Hey, you stay here, Kitty. Yeah, hurry, Matt. Flora, don't you get on that train. You all right, Flora? He's dead, Marshal. Get on the train, Flora. But I can't... Come on, hurry. Go on, move. They shot him, Mr. Dillon. I seen him through the train window. Yeah, I saw him, Chester. Now, here he comes now. Watch him. Yes, sir. I killed him. I killed him, Marshal. Here's my gun. Take it. I should have locked this gun up. You went back to the office for it, didn't you? I thought something would go wrong. And it almost did, too. I'd have stopped him, Cassidy. You wouldn't have killed him, Marshal. He can't ever follow her now. 
You're under arrest, Cassidy. You can hang me. I don't care. Only one thing, Marshal. Yeah, I know. Chester, I'll lock him up. You go buy him a bottle, will you? He's been sober long enough. No, no, Marshal. That's what I was going to say. I kind of like it this way. I ain't feeling sorry for myself no more. I'm through drinking the rest of my life. However long that's going to be. Cassidy. Yeah? Nothing. All right, come on. Walk ahead of me. Our star, William Conrad. Thank you, George. Today, there's one filter cigarette that stands out from all the rest. L and M stands out for flavor, for effective filtration, for highest quality tobacco. L and M's got everything. That's what makes it America's best filter tip cigarette. Try L and M's king size or regular. I know you'll go for them. <laughs> Gunsmoke, produced and directed by Norman McDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Our story was specially written for Gunsmoke by John Meston, with music composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Sound patterns by Tom Hanley and Ray Kemper. Featured in the cast were Lawrence Dobkin, Eleanor Tannen, and Ralph Moody. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNair is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. Put a smile in your smoking. Try Chesterfield today. Instantly, you'll smile your approval of Chesterfield smoothness. You want them mild. We make them mild. Mild and mellow. With the smooth, refreshing taste of the world's best tobaccos. Instantly, you'll smile your approval of Chesterfield satisfaction. In the whole wide world. No cigarette satisfies like Chesterfield. Put a smile in your smoking. Try Chesterfield today. The current issue of TV Radio Mirror carries a feature story on gun smoke complete with pictures of Matt, Chester, Doc, and Kitty. It is available at your local newsstand. Remember, L&M Filters present another transcribed Gunsmoke program tonight at 8 Eastern Standard Time. That's right. Gunsmoke is now on the air twice every Saturday. Once at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and again at 8 p.m. Listen to Chesterfield's two great radio shows every week. The Perry Como Show every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And Dragnet, Tuesday nights on another network. <laughs> 